Have you ever been trying to make a new swatch in Adobe Illustrator and it just doesn't let you add that new swatch to the panel? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the reasons why Illustrator is doing this and how to resolve these issues so that you can finally make your new swatch. Stick around to the end because I'll also be giving you important information about how the solution changes your artwork and how to deal with that issue as well. So let's get right into it. The first reason that Illustrator is not letting you make a new swatch is because you're trying to add your swatch to the wrong panel. Illustrator only allows you to add a new swatch to your main swatch panel, not to existing swatch libraries. So in instances where you have multiple swatch libraries open, you may accidentally be trying to drag your new swatch into one of those libraries, and that's why it's being rejected. But if you go ahead and try to add that swatch to the main swatch panel, you'll see that it is accepted as a new swatch. So that's the first scenario. The second reason that you can't make a new swatch in Illustrator is because you're trying to make a new swatch from artwork that has a pattern fill within your new pattern. So here I have my main swatch panel open and I just made this heart pattern that has zebra print within the hearts. So when I select my new swatch and I try to drag it into my swatches panel, you see that it rejects it. And then when I go to my drop down menu and I try to click on new swatch, it's completely grayed out and it won't let me make a new swatch. So that's because this zebra pattern here is an actual pattern fill. And Illustrator will not let you make a swatch that has a pattern fill in it already. So how do we resolve this? Well, there are two ways. So let's move this over and let's make a copy of the new swatch that I want to make. In order to get Illustrator to accept this as a new pattern swatch, I'm gonna need to make an adjustment to the zebra fill. So I'm selecting only the zebra fill. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Object, Rasterize, and I'm gonna rasterize that zebra fill so that it's no longer a pattern swatch. So I'm keeping RGB because my document is RGB. I'm keeping a high resolution and over here where it says backgrounds, you want to make sure that you keep it transparent. If you make it white, let me show you what happens. I'm clicking on white and I'm clicking OK. And when I do that, it gives me this white background and that's not what I want. So let's undo that. So the right way to rasterize it is to do object rasterize and make sure that you click on transparent and click OK. And now that zebra pattern is rasterized, and when I try to take this whole swatch and drag it into my swatches panel as a new swatch, it worked. So now you can test it out and you'll see that you were able to make your repeat swatch that has a pattern within a pattern. Now, at the beginning of this video, I said that I'd be giving you information about how the solution changes your artwork and how to deal with that issue. So the difference now is that once you've rasterized the zebra pattern, it's just a flat image now. It's no longer a pattern fill, so you won't be able to edit this zebra pattern like you would be able to edit a pattern swatch. So if you notice on this swatch where I still have the zebra fill as a pattern swatch, I can edit the swatch like I would edit any other swatch. I can rotate the pattern. I can scale the pattern. Or I can switch out the pattern to another color of that pattern or change it to another pattern altogether. But on this rasterized version, that will not work. So the way to deal with this is before you rasterize your pattern in order to make it a new swatch, make sure that you always keep this original version of the pattern that you're making and just put it off to the side and make sure that you don't rasterize that one. Or you can copy this version over into another layer and label it with a name that you're going to remember. And you can just hide it and you'll always have it there in case that you want to edit that zebra pattern. Now there's a second method to get Illustrator to accept this pattern within a pattern as a new swatch. So we're going back to that workable version of the pattern where I still have the zebra as a pattern fill. And I'm gonna select that and copy it over like I did last time. And now I'm gonna select just the zebra pattern on this swatch. And instead of rasterizing, I'm gonna do object, expand. 
So here you'll see that fill is checked and I'm going to click OK. And what it did is it expanded the zebra pattern so that it's no longer this zebra fill. As you can see, this fill is no longer highlighted. But what it is, is now vector shapes. So all these black zebra lines are vector shapes. And actually that whole pattern fill is in here. You can see the hidden parts of the shape. But since I had made this swatch in a way that the zebra is only showing within the hearts, it keeps the appearance in that manner. Unless you click on it and you'll see that the whole zebra pattern is actually still within the pattern, but it's hidden. So if I try to take this swatch with the expanded zebra pattern and make it a new swatch, that works too. As you can see here, I made my new swatch and we can test that out. And there we go. We have our zebra heart repeat again. Now, you need to know that this method also changes your artwork. As I mentioned, now that you've expanded the zebra pattern, it's no longer a pattern fill, but the zebra pattern is now in vector shapes. So just like with the other method, you won't be able to scale or rotate or switch out the pattern like you would with a pattern swatch. But the pro of using this method is that you can select the vector shapes and change out the color. So the color itself is editable when you use this method, but you won't be able to rotate or scale the zebra as a pattern fill anymore. But you achieved your goal of being able to make this into a new swatch. So let me know in the comments if these solutions helped you and if you have any other questions. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Thanks guys.